Hey guys, Nancy Faye here, Modern Day Pilgrim. I hope you're having a fabulous day today. Welcome back to my channel. Well, let's zip on over the Mackinac Bridge and get to where I'm going. because this road is so washboardy. It's too bumpy to have it on my, my phone holder. But anyhow, I'm here. It's just taking a minute to get to the campground because of the road, but that's life. That is life if you wanna camp in a rural campground. So I'll be there in a few minutes, just letting you know I'm almost there. We're here. Time to set up camp. So, just beyond these trees is Lake Superior. Here's my own little path down to Lake Superior where I'm gonna be doing some fabulous rock hunting. Can't wait for that. And the bugs are here. All right, well, everything stayed intact for my drive. Let's check the trunk. Everything's good. All right, I'm gonna get all set up here. I'm not sure if everybody's getting all the bugs that are here. There's about a million. Can you see them attacking me everywhere? They're everywhere. I've got this thing going here. My thermosel. Just started it. We're gonna see how this works. Whew, my goodness, these things are killer. Beautiful place though. Okay, that video, I watched it. Bugs everywhere. I'm trying to get in the sun so you can really see. I do not have bugs everywhere. See this? No bugs. And I'm telling you, it's this little thing. That thing's a cat's meow. Everybody needs one. Might be a tiny bit pricey. I think the cartridges are like 20 bucks a piece. You can get them on Amazon, but yeah. I brought the one that's in here, and then I have two extras. So I spent a couple bucks, but well worth it. No bugs flying around. I love that thing. All right, so I'm gonna make a little bit of lunch here. Uh, I got here just about 1.30. I had a great trip. The dirt road coming in here was a tiny bit washboardy in some parts and really nice in other parts, but I got here, everything's cool, and I'm hungry. Um, I'm gonna make a wrap. I'm gonna make a turkey wrap here with a little bit of mayonnaise. I've got some radishes, i have got some hummus and cucumbers, and I've got some fruit in my cooler. So I'm gonna quickly um, make a wrap and, uh, just relax for a few minutes and then I'm gonna go rock hunting. All right, I'll catch you guys in a bit. All right, what I got here is uh, mayonnaise, radish sliced up, some fresh roasted turkey, and uh, a low carb pita wrap. I'm gonna wrap that guy up. I'm gonna have a little bit of hummus, my cucumbers, the rest of my radishes, and that's it. I'm gonna have a bite to eat now. It's gonna be fabulous. Well, lunch was great and uh, the bugs are no more, thanks to my thermosel that's actually holding up my phone right now. Anyhow, it's the craziest thing. So it's, I'm sitting at this picnic table, warm as toast, not a cloud in the sky, sunny, 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 mm, probably in the 60s. I'm gonna go down there on the water and freeze my tail off. I don't know how many feet that is. It's not super far away, but it's the craziest thing. 
I got this nice bluff here, these trees, so it's black in the wind. And I'm just sitting here like a peaceful citizen in my little rural campsite. Uh, rustic, no power, nothing. Vault toilet up the road, trash receptacle somewhere. And uh, I've got everything I need in my van. Anyhow, uh, no extension cord this time. Even if I wanted to go to a, a state park and use their power, I don't even have an extension cord to do it. So I didn't bring it because... Um, that wasn't the plan and I wasn't going to that kind of a park so I wasn't gonna do oh I'm gonna bring it the just in case thing see because I wasn't gonna use it so I'm not gonna bring it yeah so um, super content beautiful day I'm gonna actually go get a hat on and w more warm clothes to go down to the lake Lake Superior and go rock hunting <laughs> I was already down there and just this Milwaukee jacket this is the one that has the battery I didn't even bring the battery guys because it's not freezing um, but I was down there and I did find some rocks. Can you see them a little bit? Uh, quartz. This is, I don't know. There's some quartz in here, some jasper, and some epidote in this guy. It's dry, so you can't see it, but I'll show you later. And this is a beauty. They're all dry, but you can't see them. I'll get my bucket out later and show you. But, um, uh, I've got a few rocks I couldn't resist. But it was too cold. It's actually really, really cold down there and really, really windy. So I have to, my hair goes crazy. So I have to get a hat on and put another layer on just to go down to the water. That's how Michigan is. It's crazy, crazy. But uh, I love Lake Superior. It's my most favorite lake. So anyhow, that's it, people. I will catch you in a little bit. Just wanted to say, hey, all right, TTFN. total score as you can see my fire burns out quick because I have just little tiny branches and my biggest log is just about had it but I found all this birch bark from a dead tree in the woods over there and uh, I just stripped it the tree fell apart as you can see right there it's just just rotted but this bark burns great. Let's do a little demonstration. Let's use this piece here. Let's get it on in there. Birch burns great. It's kind of like a good fire starter. Look at that. And that was on a completely saturated, dead tree, laying on the ground for who knows how long, but just look at that go. So if you're ever out in the woods and you see a dead birch on the ground, strip it and uh, bring the birch back to your fire. Look at that. Isn't that awesome? You can also cut this up into tiny little pieces and it's good for tinder. So yeah, just thought I'd share that little win-win situation. Look at that, look at it just go. It's not even done burning yet, but that's, that's what birch does. So yeah. So this is where I'm hanging my thermometer now. We'll talk about that later. Oh my word. I got thermometer problems, guys. All right. Well, it's just about 10 o'clock and uh, I got myself a rip roaring fire going here. And I'm enjoying myself, but guess what? Somebody said there's supposed to be northern lights tonight. 
someone here at this campground place. So I'm going to check it out. I'm going to stay up and see if they show up. And tomorrow I'm going to give you guys a tour of how I packed my van and uh, a couple things that I changed up a little bit so it could be a little bit more convenient for me in my little living space. So anyhow, uh, I hope everybody's having a great night. I'm not turning in yet. I'm going to wait it out for a little bit and I'll catch you in a little bit. Just want to let you know that uh, I'm enjoying myself at my fine bonfire, me, myself, and me. Isn't that beautiful? And by the way, birch bark. If you guys ever come across it, save it. Burns like the dickens. Well, it's just after 10.30 p.m. and I am getting tired. And I'm supposed to be waiting for these northern lights, but I don't even know what time they're coming out. So I'm kind of bummed out about that. But in the meantime, I'm going to get washed up with my little collapsible sink and water and soap. I know I smell like a bonfire. I'm not going to wash my hair though, but I am going to wash my body head to toe in the van. So yeah, I got to get it done. Anyhow, uh, I'm going to get myself all cleaned up for the rest of the night. And if these Northern lights come out, I will go out and see them. I'll keep peeking out, I guess, of my window here. Anyhow, this is a great park, but I will say one thing. Uh, I thought it was going to be a little bit more r rural, like spread apart, but it's not. So I'm kind of bummed out about that. But I am glad that I'm right on Lake Superior. I can just get out of my van, get ready for my day, and go to the beach. So that's kind of cool. But uh, it's kind of not what I thought it was going to be. But it's definitely better than a state park where there's like everybody all over, crazy busy and definitely better but not not exactly what I thought it was going to be but anyhow uh all right let me get washed up and change my clothes and get ready for bed and I'll catch you in a minute and we'll go over a few things okie doke okay this is how I'm going to heat the water uh this is my MSR stove right here and uh it goes on one of these little cans of it's like a isobutane propane mix I've got my windows cracked that one and this one is cracked I'll pull these down a little bit before I get started I just wanted to show you what I'm gonna do here anyhow I'm gonna boil the water and put it in my little tub here and take a quick sponge bath that's how I do it in the van I mean, obviously, it's not like a shower at home, but I feel like a million bucks when I'm all done. I feel clean. I feel good. And uh, that's all that counts. So, yeah, I'm going to get to it. All right. So I could really turn this up high. This thing's like a little jet engine, but I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to put my pot on here. Actually, I'm going to move this over a tiny bit. So you can see it's going to be in the middle. We're going to be safe about it. We're going to put the water on top. There we go. Now it's just heating my water. I'll put the lid on right here. And we're just going to boil the water. Turn it up a tiny bit. As soon as the water's hot, I'm going to put it in there probably make another one and then I'm gonna quickly take a bath with my washcloth over there and body wash all right catch you in a minute so I uh, opened the window there pulled away the window cover here so I've got a nice uh, nice uh, ventilation situation there and the water is very, very warm now, so just want to let you know that that's how I do it. That is how I do it. There we go. All right. A couple things. I'm going to say it. If I did not have the thermocell here, I probably would have left. And I'm not kidding. I'm not kidding. If I didn't have that little device, which I'm going to be 
charging before I go to bed because it's on just one more light. It's got like three lights and it when it uh, the battery goes down, it goes down the light, of course. But uh, this thing is a necessity, a lifesaver. And if I didn't have it, I literally probably would have left and I would have lost all my money. I don't think I could have handled it. I just don't think I could have handled it. You saw the video everywhere. That would have been all the time. That would have been all the time unless I had a, a fire going constantly. Uh, number two, it's 58 outside and 62 in the van and I'm totally comfortable right now. Totally comfortable right now. Had a bath, feel great. I actually even brushed my hair. I don't even know what it looks like. I washed my face. Don't wanna to touch it with my fingers. I feel like a million bucks, so. And you have to, at least for me, I have to take a, a sponge bath in here when I'm out in the elements like that. But um, anyhow, um, so everything's in the van and I'm pretty happy where everything is at. And tomorrow, I'll give you a full tour of everything under here because obviously it's more than when I showed you the setup at my house. And uh, it's full, but it's only what I need. And I didn't bring any more. And I didn't even bring an extension cord because I wasn't going to do the what if I go to a place that has electricity. Or maybe I will or maybe I won't. I just didn't bring it, so, so I can't. Um, but that's okay. And right down the road um, is another state park, uh, Michigan State Park. I've been to that one. It's great. It's about six miles away, and uh, that one has electricity. But I didn't bring my cord today, so I'm completely on my own with my Jackery here. So when I got here, it was 100%. Let's see. I will have to put my glasses on, folks, because I won't be able to see down there. Um, right now, 88%. So it's gone from 100% to 88%, and it's about 11.30 p.m. right now. So tomorrow, um, I'll be here for the most part of the day, and I do plan on setting out, driving to another location, Grand Marais, to go rock hunting over there. So it will charge back up, which is fine, and uh, but I'm, I'm just totally self-sufficient, no electricity. Another thing, there's no lights around here, so when you go outside, it's pitch black you can't see a thing unless you have a light so I have one of these cat bill lights that you clip on to your hat here which I had because I was out just checking things out and that's a necessity here my son Jonathan got me that uh, a couple of years ago so that thing is coming handy but uh so far so good uh, another thing kind of bummed out about it the pellets, well, guess what? They certainly do absorb a lot of liquid, but I don't know. Maybe I have to use more than three cups per 20 ounces of liquid measured out at home when I kind of did it with water, 20 ounces of water, which is about how much a person can go to the bathroom if they are really having to go. Anyhow, it kind of leaked through the bag a little bit into my plastic part of my toilet and I didn't like that at all. Like nothing major, nothing major, but so what? I don't like it. So now I might have to use four cups just to make sure that doesn't happen or maybe even five cups. I'm trying to just not waste. See, because I don't feel like I can leave the pellets in there. I just can't do that. Like cat litter, even though it, it clumped, I could have left it in there and taken care of it in the morning, but I never did that. I actually, if I was going to the restroom in the middle of the night, I don't just leave it in that toilet. I actually take it up, I wrap it, fold it over, wrap it again, get another bag, wrap it again, and put it on the, on the floor up there uh, until the morning. I'm not going to leave it open like that. Now I'm just rethinking the whole thing. Maybe I just need to, I don't know, do, how much, anybody help? Like, how does it work? Do I need to put a ton in there? I don't want to waste. 
because I'm gonna I'm not gonna leave it in there for the next time I go. That's just not gonna happen. So I wanted to kind of put enough in there to absorb the potty and then double wrap it and then dispose of it if I used it in the middle of the night in the morning. Well I used it in the van twice today and again nothing major but when I took it out I saw moisture on the inside of the toilet. So it came through the bag a little bit. It didn't absorb it enough. I don't know, but there was no loose like liquid in in the bag. It was all completely um, absorbed into the pellets, but maybe I need more pellets. I just don't know. So I'm going to have to do a little test. So that's that. So that, that was my first experience with the pellets. I, I thought they were really great and cool, and they probably are really great and cool. I just need to use a lot more than I'm using. I really don't know, but uh, it's a crapshoot right now because I've never done this before. So there's that. Um, and these northern lights are supposed to be out tonight, so said someone. But I don't even know what time that's going to be because I don't have any service. Zero Zippo. So I don't know if I have to just keep looking out the window. When do they normally start? The middle of the night, early in the morning? I don't know. But besides that, my fridge is running great. And um, I had a really good day. It made some really great food. And I'm kind of tired right now. I feel like a million bucks though. I feel like a million bucks because I took a sponge bath. I feel like so clean. I'm sure my van probably smells like a, a little bit of a bonfire because my jacket's in here. But I don't leave my coats outside because of the dew and it gets a little bit wet in the mornings. So, anyhow, tomorrow I'm going to give you a tour of the van and show you where everything is at when it's completely lived in. It's been lived in for a day and then I'll do it again in a few days when I leave so you can see how I how it looks after a few days. And again, this is this is work, right? I mean, if you're going to have a nice space like this, you have to keep it up. You got to put your stuff away. And that's just how it goes. And don't bring a bunch of stuff because you don't need a bunch of stuff. You only need what you need. Less is more. All right, guys. I got nothing. I'm bushwhacked. I think I'm going to bed now after I brush my teeth here. Which, by the way, I don't have an empty bottle, which I normally brush my teeth, take a little sip of water, and then spit in, in an empty bottle, spit it out, and just throw it in the trash. So I'm going to do the same process. I use very little water, brush my teeth, and I'm just going to spit it in a napkin, fold it up, and put it in my garbage until tomorrow. But that's how I'm doing that today. <sighs> but that is all. All right, everyone. Have a fabulous evening. I will catch you tomorrow. Until then.